a stock Stearman biplane better than anybody else in the world with only 220 horsepower. This 1940s vintage biplane, Snapro goes into it and a roll on takeoff, holding it inverted and then rolling it upright. Please welcome to the 2012 Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show, John Bourne. He snap rolls the airplane and dives it right back down. This aircraft weighs nearly 3,000 pounds and is powered by a 220 horsepower Continental engine. It is in the 717 primary trainer, the K-10, the Spearman, and watch John Moore as he runs out of air speed and takes you back to the days of the Barnstormer, where the life of a fighter pilot for one was only about three weeks. If he survived and wanted to stay in aviation, he'd come back and buy a used Jenny trainer aircraft built by Curtis. And then he'd come on a flyover of town and do some aerial stuff, land in a farmer's field, and give ride for five or ten dollars a piece. Then let's watch John Moore, the premier and preeminent stock Just six 
600 feet of vertical airspace. Not much higher. 
less than 60 miles an hour in a 3,000 pound airplane. He is no maniac. He's an incredible manipulator of the controls. We love watching this guy fly. There is not a performer who doesn't love to see him do these maneuvers in a stock stairman. You can see him in his slow path there looking right down into the cockpit. A very simple airplane. And he flies it all over the country and he'll be bringing it into land. But I want you to watch the landing. One of the things about flying what is known as a tail dragger or an aircraft with a conventional gear with two wheels up in front and a wheel in the back is that seeing over the nose is difficult on landing. And so you have to, as a pilot, be very, very aware of your position on the runway and be able to look out from side to side and use your peripheral vision to do it. But John Moore says, no, I'm just going to land upside down or at least approach upside down, so he can see right where the runway is. Look at him come in. He'll roll it up right. He says, I'm not done yet. I said, oh, I'm close. Oh, let's snap roll it. That's the high speed stall. Now watch him go sideways, slip the airplane down, straighten it out until just before touchdown, going sideways over 45 degrees of side slip, and straighten it out and put the left and right main gear down. First, the left and then bring the right one down. What an incredible performer. What an amazing performance. And we're gonna see him as he keeps his tailwheel off the ground. Take your pictures now, he ain't done yet. He let the tailwheel down, but he's gonna do a little NASCAR burnout for us right here in the Arena Show Center. Turn things over to the blues. 